Hi everyone, welcome to a new video here on emulation. This one's going to be on the emulator Scum VM. So let's go ahead and open up your browser. We're going to go to that site. Go ahead and type in Scum and VM or Scum VM into your browser. And you're going to notice it's going to be this one right here. So go ahead and click on home. You can get a couple of, uh, you know, info hits from the uh, the website here as to what it emulates, how to get it going and all that. So right now we're going to go to downloads. We're going to download the emulator itself. Yeah, we go pick on whichever one is uh, better suited for your machine. Just download that. Once you have that downloaded, go ahead and extract that to a folder on your hard drive. Preferably, just give it the same name as the program so you can find it easily. And then we're going to need some of the games. So you can go ahead and click on here where it says freeware games and add-ons. Download a couple of them here. You only need one version, really. So just pick the one that you want and get that downloaded and extracted to the folder that has the game. Now the best scenario with this, go ahead and just make a game folder inside the folder that contains the emulator. And I'll show you that in a second. That'll be the best way to maneuver it. So go ahead and do a few of those. All right, once you have that folder open, you're gonna see something that looks like so. Now, like I said, try and make the folder just the name of the program so you can find that easily and create a shortcut to it create a folder in here that says games and that's where you're going to extract all the files you downloaded from the website you want to keep them in a folder you don't want to just throw them all out there on the uh, thing because you may not be able to get the game to launch correctly now once you have that done it is pretty simple to get it going you're going to go ahead and double click the executable file for the emulator it's going to give you an option here if you rather have it, you know, remind you of an update. I choose never. You can go ahead and put whatever you want. Once this window is up, go ahead and hit Alt Enter to get you to go full screen. And this part right here is where we're going to add the games. Now, what I want to show you is the best way to do it if you have multiple games in a folder. You're going to click on Mass Add from the top, uh, from the little tab right here. Click on that. You're going to tell it yes. Then you're going to direct it to the place where you have the games. So in this case, it's going to be the folder I told you. You're going to go ahead and click choose. And now as you can see, it's adding all of them. And it was done pretty quick. So that's the simplest way to do it. Once the games are on here, you can go to game options or global options. I normally like to pick this one just to get it started first. Now, if you want to do per game settings, you would click on the game on the screen and change the options here. But first, I'll show you global options here. So you can pick either interface. I like to use OpenGL. And then from here, you're more than likely going to want a VGA. That'll give you the highest amount of colors. Right here, you can choose whether to stretch the, you know, the image or just keep it the 4-3 aspect ratio. I like to fill the whole window full screen. Now, this is where you're going to add uh, scalers. So, these are kind of like uh, filter effects for the uh, games. So, I like to do HQ. Put this at max, which is 3. Now, this is where you can actually pick the shaders. Nice little feature here. Also, you can hit update and you can go ahead and download those from the internet. And I guess I already did it on mine, so it's not showing anything here. So here again, this further option to change the ratio correction. We're gonna go full screen mode, filter graphics, and then you can also choose from here. can pick that the other stuff you can kind of you know leave that alone it's not going to affect the gameplay everything should work fine from here you can go ahead and uh, mess up those settings later so once we have that pick we can literally just pick the game and start playing it And 
as you can see the filter took effect so it kind of you know smooths out the graphics on that the old man was trying to tell the future looking for pictures in the campfire oh i see evil evil born deep beneath the city so as you can see everything works fine the game is loaded and that's probably one of the simplest uh, emulator setups there is now like i said this doesn't emulate a ton of other games if you hit f5 it takes you to the options of the game where you can actually you know run it like if it was a real toss so you can quit from here and that'll exit the game out so once again, that was on how to set up Scum VM. Like I said, there's a lot of different games that you can run, uh, like children's games, like the Putt Putt series, uh, Pajama Sam. So, uh, you know, if you're interested in those, you can look those up, or if you already own them, you can try and run them with the emulator. So that is the end of this one. If you guys found this useful, go ahead, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you wish, and we will see you guys on the next one.